Hi there all, welcome to my YouTube channel, this is Ben here. I'm just going to ask a few questions about the HPI Trophy Flux buggy. Basically, to get more speed out of it, I'm not sure how fast it is stock. About 50, something like that, 60, I don't know, but I want to get some more speed out of it, top end. So, thinking about upgrading the pinion and spur on it. But I'm not really sure what to go for. And I think it's a mod one pinion. As you can see in there. Hope it's focusing. It's a fifteen tooth. 15 tooth stock pinion and I think the stock on this is a 50 tooth spur spur gear it's 50 tooth even though it looks it looks bigger than that to me I, I can't understand it but all the ones I found in that stock are 50 tooth and the fastest the uh, smallest one I can find that is 44 tooth but I haven't really looked that hard and I was thinking of maybe upgrading the pinion to something between a 21 and 25 tooth for on road bashing of the off road I'd be putting the 15 back on or possibly buying an 18 tooth pinion or maybe even the, just the standard 15 tooth that I've got on here and using the 44 tooth spur that I'm going to get eventually this isn't going to happen immediately it might sound stupid after paying this amount for this buggy but I really really am short getting short of money and can't really afford it I could only scrape getting this but when I get some more money I'm going to be getting some upgrades going getting this thing flying guys and I also need some more to run it, which is a bit of a problem. So, if you have any ideas on how I can get a place to run it, where do you recommend, like, a, a car park, an empty car park? Because the problem with me is, I live in the middle of nowhere. There's literally, there's a hamlet, which is smaller than a village, which is where I live. You can't get any traffic, no road noise, nothing. Well, occasionally outside you can hear the main road if there's a boy racer hack absolutely ragging this car you can hear a big ball on it and that you know but other than that you can't hear the road and yeah this buggy is just, it's just it's just so nice and it's, it's it's very similar to my old eb4 thunder tiger g3 thunder tiger eb4 g3 i should have said but yeah, I just love the colours and stuff on this, like the orange motor mount and this all black motor, longer for high torque. It's brilliant. Really is. Really solid buggy. It's good for jumping. And I have actually got somewhere with a mound that I can jump over. <laughs> so I'll keep the stock pinion on it for that and maybe... Get, get some jumping going, but it's private land, so I'm not going to do it when there's no one watching. So probably the early hours of the morning, something like that. But then I need someone to film it. This is a problem, because I'm single, and I haven't got anyone to film it. Maybe my dad could film it, or my mum, but I don't know if they'd want to go up there to film it. So, yeah. Maybe I could ask my mate tomorrow, if he if he comes around for long enough, if he could film it then. I might text him and ask him actually, or ask him on Facebook. But yeah, as you can see, I'll, I'll stiffen the suspension up by putting these the, these plastic things that come with are actually very useful. So don't don't chuck them away, because they could come in very useful to stiffen, sti stiffen the back end up, and I've also stiffened the front end up a little bit more, in fact. The corner of them, I've used a bit of a bigger... I think I have anyway. It looks the same actually, but I thought I'd sit from the front and the 
up a, front end up a bit more. But yeah. Anyway, that's basically it. I've made a review of this. It hasn't actually got many views at the moment. And I don't know why. But I'm trying to optimise it a bit. And hopefully get some more views. Please reply to this video and explain what tooth pinion is suitable for this HPI Trophy Flux Buggy. Anyway, thanks, for, thanks very much for watching. And take it easy. Please rate this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more HPI videos because I do also have a a sprint two, which needs a little bit of work, and a firestorm, e firestorm. None of it's nitro; it's all brushless electric here. No fuel involved. Much cleaner, much better for the environment, you know. And I know I shouldn't have a radio car control car on my bed, but the mud doesn't come off the tires. The mud is just stuck to the tires so much that so it won't won't come off anyway. So yeah, thanks for watching and. Please, can you help me? Thanks a lot. Goodbye for now.